Hey guys, it's me, X Mr. Cheese X, and welcome back to more of Pokemon Red. Last time we fought Green, and we got in all of the badges, all eight. And in this part, here we are at the front gate, and we're heading up to the Pokemon League. Oh, that is the Boulder Badge. Go right ahead. Yes, the Boulder Badge. It was back. It was all the way back at Pewter City, where we fought Brock the Jock, who thinks he's Barack Obama. Yes, that block. You can pass here only if you have the Cascade Badge. Oh, that is the Cascade Badge. Okay then, please go right ahead. We fought Misty at Cerulean, the tomboyish mermaid. Who's actually pretty cute, even though that she's 12 year old. No, I am not a pedophile. You can pass here only if you have the Thunder Badge. Oh, that is the Thunder Badge. Okay then, please. Go right ahead. The Thunder Badge that was given to us by Lieutenant Surge, who, after a freak accident in the Vietnam, with electric type Pokemon, even though the electric type Pokemon supposedly saved him, I'm sure he got in a pretty bad shock, whatever it was, and now he looks like Chucky forever. Chucky from F Child's Play. You can pass here only if you have the rainbow badge. Rainbows! Oh, that is the rainbow badge. Okay then, please, go right ahead. The rainbow badge, as you remember, that was from, given to us by Erica. Erica being the pretty girl. Yes, the pretty Japanese girl. Mm -hmm. Who is constantly attacked by... As you know, Peeping Tom, specifically Master Roshi. So she stays with a bunch of women and is surprised that she's not a lesbian. Actually, if she was a lesbian, that would probably explain why there's rainbows. I am not offending lesbians. I... Never mind. You can pass here only if you have the Soul Badge. Oh, that is the Soul Badge. Okay, then, please go right ahead, because I actually have friends in real life who are lesbians. Yes, a guy who is friends with lesbians. That's, I don't care what you say, and it is kind of strange, but I do not really care, because my friends are awesome. Everybody friends should be awesome. You can pass here only if you have the Marsh Badge. As I mentioned before, you can actually have the Volcano Badge before the Marsh Badge, and I actually got in the Volcano Badge before the Marsh Badge in my very first few playthrough of this game. As you remember, the Marsh Badge was given to us by Sabrina, that woman who was held captive by Team Rocket and believed that she has magical psychic powers. Here you can capture a few Pokemon, actually. You can capture Dittos and Marowaks. However, that's not why we came here. As you can see, I just got into a wild battle. Which is against a Pharaoh. I do not really recommend these wild Pokemon because they are kind of underleveled. What do you mean I can escape? I can totally escape me if I want to. Here we go. You can pass here only if you have the Volcano Badge. Oh, that is a Volcano Badge. Okay then, please go right ahead. As you remember, that was given to us by Blaine, the scientist who made the possible for the creation of Mewtwo, and he is so ashamed that he hid himself in a gym behind a bunch of walls that you can only access if you know the answer to the quizzes, as he, I guess he assumes that only scientists can determine the answers. Here we are, the last guard. You can pass here only if you have the Earth Badge, as you remember, that was given to us by the leader of the Italian Mafia, Team Rocket. 
I don't care, I killed him and took it from him. Okay then, please go right ahead. And this sign? Victory Road Gate, Pokemon League. Right through this door is the final path, the final dungeon of this game. It's most confusing dungeon, but in, well, amongst the most confusing dungeons, but it is the shortest dungeon in this entire game. And I guess we're going to tackle that in the next part, so next time we're gonna head off to the Victory Road and take victory for ourselves. I don't care what Gary, Green, or Blue, or John, or Jacob, Jingleheimer Smith, whatever you want to call him. Maybe even asshole, as people some call him. Yes, I just won in a video. I think I swore quite a few times in this Let's Play, even though I'm kinda of against swearing, but... What can you do, right? I swear. Simple as that. Alright, next time. We're gonna take victory for ourselves. Seriously, next time, we're gonna go right to the victory road. See you guys next time.